National Master Glenn Beatty. Unapologetically Black Chess. Secrets. Relevant. Hi, this video is of the 2022 U.S. Chess Championship. You, the young 15-year-old phenom, is playing the white against Heinz, the machine Newman. Newman plays a beautiful game, despite what Naka says. Please like and subscribe to this video, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Let's begin. D4, knight f3, knight c6. I really don't like knight to c6. D5, bishop to c4, e6, knight to b5. Okay, basically hitting c7. Um, with the threaded knight takes, of course, c7 check in the fork. And knight to a6, e3, bishop to e7. Knight f3, castle, bishop e2, knight to h5. Now, I really like the move knight to h5 because black is going to grab the two bishops advantage. And a course that is going to lead to at least an equal game for him. Bishop to e5. Okay, you have to leave, buddy. Get out of here. Bishop to g3. Now, take note that black did not capture the bishop it immediately because it will open up the rook on h1. Black kicks the knight out of his territory. And now he is attacking white center and gaining space on the queen side let's just take a look at this position for a moment for a um just a second black is going to have um more space on the queen side which he had more space already on the queen side also his pawn center is very flexible in addition he will have the two bishops so white so white opening was a disaster i think that black is equal already or might have a slight advantage in this position castle knight x pawn x c4 okay this is a novelty according to chess base now black is just better black is just better uh Black is going to push his pawns on the queen side and a and of course he have a space advantage. This is another way to play this position, but we should look at also, we should look at f5. f5 is another way to play. Um, actually gripping the e4 square so white can never play the... Um, Freeing move e4. f5 is a very interesting move. But let's see how this game goes. Knight in the center. Typical. Knight back. Now, knight back is a very nice move, isn't it? Pawn pushing. Now the knight challenges the knight on e5. Bishop. Knight takes. Pawn takes. Pawn push attacking the bishop. And once again, look at the queen side structure. Black have just a better queen side structure. Bishop pawn, kick the knight, and I would rather play black in this position all day. Okay, let's go back to the game. The hands play c4, which is a very good move. I think that's a good move also. Pawn push, bishop. And the idea behind bishop to b4 is that since... Since the knight is holding center squares, black is threatening to capture the knight and double white queen side pawns. Pawn takes, pawn takes, knight to b1. Okay, I think that's a good move because we do not want our queen side pawns double in this position. Okay, bring the knight back into the game, of course. Bishop had to move. Now, black is coming on the queen side. 
knight to e1, bishop e6, finishing his development. Okay, now we are gaining more space on the queen side, of course. And I, I kind of really like the g6 move. I like that g6 move. Watch how he follow this up. Pawn push. Okay, so black is playing on both sides of the board now. Black had more space on the queen side and the king side. So, of course, black is better in, in this setup. Queen, king up. Okay. And now rook to h8. Black is going to open up the king side with h4, h3. Okay. Bishop. Pawn push in. This is really a great move by hands. This is very a very nice idea. This this is really a very nice idea. Hands is going to play knight to e8, knight to f6, and the knight is going to slam on the e4. Rook to e2, knight to e8. Okay, now just step the bishop back. Um, and now, white would love hands to play bishop takes e5 so that he could capture with dx e5 and then his knight that that is on c2 doing nothing will have the beautiful d4 square but hands do not capture it of course and h4 prime open the king side h3 rook to e2 Queen e1, excuse me. Knight to e4, exclaim. Okay, here come, here come the knight. Now, let's look. Knight to e4. There was another way he could play this move. Let's go back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's, let's just go back for a second. In this position, knight to h5. I'm sorry. This is what I really wanted to show this move. Knight to h5 is very is a very nice move. Um, black is threatening the simple h4 x g3. Pawn takes, knight takes. With with the threat of knight to d3, knight takes, trying to complicate the position. Queen check. Back blocking pawn push and bishop takes winning the exchange and then he played a great move rook to a3 which really consolidates black position and black is winning here okay and let's go back to the game but hands played a game like this hands played h3 and instead of knight to h5 rook to e2 queen to e1 knight to e4 and here we get bishop takes pawn takes and now rook to h3 white is in trouble the rook has penetrated into white's position with deadly effects his buddy is coming soon e6 now this is a blunder let's see how this game went he captured and at this point black have a overwhelming advantage pawn takes bishop takes knight takes queen takes Knight to d4 attacking the queen. The queen just steps back one. And the pressure is still on. Bishop takes e4 is a blunder. Hands follow up with the pen. The game is over at this point. Trying to find counterplay. But there's none. Queen, rook. And the game ended as... Rook takes check, queen takes, pawn takes, rook check, check, 
thank you give me my queen back check and this and then winning the b2 pawn and the king is trying to um guard g6 and of course black just take the pawn and now this is the final blow b4 and it ended very nicely capture 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 pass pawn pawn push and hands put down the hammer with rook takes b5 time to resign young man okay y'all guys um please like and subscribe to our video thanks for watching and as always good luck good chess cheers